In this video, I will show you how to create a realistic looking ribbon. Let's start by importing a cylinder. To our cylinder position, we can go into edit mode. Let's get rid of these faces. We want to select all the faces on this side and move them. Pressing Ctrl R, let's loop cut. Do the same thing for the face under. So we want everything to look like squares and then we can go to our modifiers and add a subdivision surface. Add another cylinder. Go into edit mode and delete the faces. So in order to create the ribbon, let's add a collusion and a cloth physics to the ribbon, turn off the gravity and turn on self collusion, collusion quality, let's increase that. Alright, now for the cylinder and turn off single sided, and then let's increase the thickness a bit, change the angle of this ribbon. Scale this down. Hide location representation. And then we want to drag it down a bit. Drag it down just a bit. So now we have gotten a shape that we like, you have to bake the simulation. Apply all the modifiers and now we want to do this for the second ribbon, position it here. Add the subdivision surface, keep it as simple, and then add your cloth modifier. Turn off the gravity, increase the quality of the collision, turn on self collision, and let's preview the animation. Alright, this is looking good. We can go ahead and bake it. Let's bake 90 frames and bake. So apply and apply the spots, grab, increase the radius. So you can take your time and arrange this part to look very nice. Go into edit mode. And position this part here. In this same circle with the collusion on. Okay. Review. can leave the gravity on. I just reduce it. Turn on self collision. Increase the quality. Your subdivision surface. Take that to the top. Let's increase the number. This is as simple. And shift this plane under it. Add collision. Let's increase the gravity. Alright, this is a good shape. Let's bake it to 220 frames. 
So let's go to 220 frames. Modifier, apply all modifiers. It looks a lot better. Now we can take this here, scale it down a bit, delete the keyframes, get rid of the collision, add a cut, then increase the shrinking factor, turn off gravity. Now the remaining part is just to go into your edit mode and you can turn on proportional editing. So using proportional editing, you can just clean it up, make it look good. Go ahead and shade smooth. So if you go into edit mode, you can go to your VETC select mode, select all, go to vertex, smooth vertices, also under vertex you can smooth vertices Laplacian so this will give you an overall final finish do the same thing here vertex smooth vertices vertex smooth Laplacian so we have our ribbon created next thing is to add textures So that's it for this tutorial, I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.